This is BigCountryHomePage.com Sports with Dan Booth. Good evening, everyone. It's not every day a kid from the big country makes it to the NFL, but last night the dreams of former Abilene High and Baylor running back Abram Smith became a reality. Smith was projected to be drafted anywhere between the fifth and seventh round, but he ended up going undrafted. Within minutes of the final selection, Smith announced he is going to sign an undrafted free agent contract with the New Orleans Saints. The Abilene High grad is expected to sign his contract and officially become a member of Houdat Nation on Monday. We've got some cool news coming out of Brownwood. Howard Payne wide receiver Jake Parker has been invited to the Kansas City Chiefs and the New England Patriots training camps as a free agent. Parker had over 1,100 yards receiving and 13 touchdowns for the Yellow Jackets this season. The Dallas Cowboys have been busy over the past few days trying to replace some of the players who left during the early stages of the offseason. All of the players you see on your screen were starters for Dallas last Last season and it's clear that the Cowboys placed an emphasis on improving those positions throughout the draft. In the first round with the 24th pick overall, Dallas addressed their offensive line by selecting Tulsa's Tyler Smith. Smith has the ability to play both tackle and guard, which will definitely help out the Cowboys moving forward. To help, to help the pass rush, at number 56 in the second round, the Cowboys picked Old Miss defensive end Sam Williams. Williams should be able to fill in the void that Randy Gregory left behind. The Cowboys used the 88th pick on wide receiver Jalen Tolbert from South Alabama. Tolbert will likely get a lot of playing time early on while Michael Gallup continues to recover from his torn ACL that he suffered late last season. The majority of the Cowboys selections on the third and final day of the draft went towards helping the defense, but the guy I'm paying close attention to is tight end Jake Ferguson from Wisconsin. With Dalton Schultz playing on the franchise tag this year, Year, Ferguson could be a fantastic addition for years to come. In the USFL, this afternoon, the Michigan Panthers hit the gridiron to take on the Pittsburgh Maulers. Let's get to the first quarter. Panthers in the red zone. Stevie Scott the third gets the handoff, bounces outside, gets to the pylon for six. Michigan went on to win in shutout fashion, 24 to nothing, picking up their first win of the season. The matchups for the American Southwest Conference softball and baseball playoffs have been announced. On May 5th at 10 a.m., McMurray is the second seven seed and they'll face UT Dallas in the first round. The fourth seeded HSU Cowgirls have a first round bye, so they'll go head to head with whoever wins the game between Letourneau and Sol Ross State. For baseball, on the same day, the number four seed McMurray Warhawks are going up against the Mary Harden Baylor Crusaders at 3 p.m. And on the other side of the bracket, the Harden Simmons Cowboys, who clinched their playoff spot for the tournament this weekend, will be playing the number three seeded Bell Haven Blazers at 11 a.m. With today's 10 to 4 win, the ACU baseball team swept their four game series on the road against SFA, which moves them into fourth place in the WAC. ACU will host the Texas Tech Red Raiders on Tuesday at the Crutch. In their first year in the Western Athletic Conference, the ACU men's tennis team won their conference title. Before the season started, the players and head coach Juan Nunez made a bet which includes Nunez having to get a special haircut if they went on to win the conference. I think it was Dario that said, hey, you have to get a mullet if we win the conference tournament. And I was, I said, yeah, sure. From then on, trust me, they, they never forgot. We were still in the middle of the celebration and then I started kind of hearing the, uh oh, mullet's coming, uh oh. He'll be there for the, for the NCAA, so I'll put a hat on so it doesn't, you know, look too crazy. But um, then I have my brother's wedding, so I, I'll have to, I'll kind of have to get back to old business, not just, you know, business in the front, party in the back type of thing. We love the business in the front and the party in the back. The Wildcats will find out who they're facing in the first round of the NCAA tournament tomorrow. To add to the success that the tennis team is having recently, this afternoon, the ACU men's golf team won their conference championship as well. Congratulations to them.